All right, y'all. Good morning. We are up a creek again. It's uh, it's December now. I probably should have put this video out a little earlier. I made this video a little earlier, I should say, but it's how it goes sometimes. But uh, it's December. I'm gonna talk about where I locate these fish in December. Um, you know, it's pretty much full blown winter at this point. Um, so you can do one of two things. You can go up the creeks, like we are today. I like the creeks more than the main lake. Uh, for a couple reasons. One is it's a lot more comfortable in here. Even if it's really cold and windy, you can get in here and get out of the weather a little bit and still enjoy yourself. And, um, you know, as well as the fish are in here pretty good and you have more stuff to look at. So the shad are going to do two things. They're going to go up the creek for the warm water. Um, this is protected. The sun's beating down in here and it's warming up the water or they're going to go out deep to the main lake and go as deep as they possibly can on some lakes. But, Let's go in here and show you what kind of size you can find in the creek. So if you have creeks or rivers flowing into your lakes, reservoirs with crappie in them, there's a good chance they come up in them. And so you better get out there and check. You never know what you can find. So let's get over here and hopefully find some fish. I'm going to um, talk about in this video, very detailed information about how I locate crappie in the creeks. And I'm going to kind of go over some of that, and then at the end of this little section, I'll have uh, me out on the creeks catching some fish. But I really wanted to try and, you know, detail break down this from Google Maps, because this is how I do break down a lot of my creek fishing. It, it really saves me so much time and, and really helps me kind of get a game plan going before I get on the water. So this is just Google Maps, <coughs> nothing serious. Um, you can use Google Earth, stuff like that. And um, I apologize for the, the noise in the background, but that's, uh, that's just how my house is. Um, but we're going to kind of break this down. So I'm on Levon. I, this is just kind of a, a basis start. Um, and this right here, so the, creek, the crappie in the creeks in the winter, they, they come from the lake, most of them. So what you need to do, especially on lakes that are low or your ears that the water's low, you want to make sure these creeks are connected to the lake. Because if they're not connected, there's not going to be any fish. I mean, that that's just the bottom line. So, like, the East Fork Trinity River right here, you can see right here at the mouth, I mean, it is dry, right? All the way out. All the way out to here. I mean, it is dry. This would be a waste of time to even bother looking. This creek is not connected to the lake. It'd be a waste of time. And we'll go over here to Wilson Creek, same thing, just not connected to the lake. And you would need a pretty good amount of water um, in that to be connected. See, like this one, okay, so this one right here, this is Pilot Grove Creek right here. This one's actually connected. Now, it's shallow, don't get me wrong, but you can see the creek channel run right here. Swings back, swings back. So even though it looks shallow, this right here has enough depth for those crappie to get in there. And so it really, really depends. Um, you know, I'll probably start looking about here and, you know, you want to look for, um, you want to look for bends in the creeks. See how this creek does this back and forth, back and forth. These bends like this are really good because this water is going to dig this out on the edges and then it's going to be shallow on the inside. And so couple things I look for so obviously like I want to look for an entry point um, I try to follow the creek up usually like usually just always creeks that that cross over or roads that cross over the creek so like right here far in the market 2756 um, you know the creek goes right under it you can park it looks like you can park on this side right here and I don't know if there's any crappie in here honestly but so this is what I would do. I'd come out here, park here, and walk here, and I'd walk downstream. Um, I would walk down in here, and it's rough. It really is. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to walk from, let's say, here to here. You want to walk from here, here, and then go all the way, get as far away from the, the closest access point as possible. And the reason for that is because everyone and their mom is gonna park here and walk right down and fish right here. That's what they're gonna do. That's just human nature. That's just the 
humans want to take the path of least resistance, and that's what they're going to do. So, I like to think the opposite. I want to get the furthest away from these easy access points as possible. And so, these fish right here are going to be pressured the most. They're going to be caught the most. And if you go down away from people, they're going to be not touched. They're going to be in a better move. They're going to be more aggressive. And that's why I like to, to do that. So, like, this creek, I mean, it's pretty... It's pretty rough looking. Like you can barely see the creek because of all the limbs. Um, but that is kind of how I get started on that. And every creek's different. Um, you know, some creeks are really shallow. Obviously, the deeper the creek is, the deeper those fish will be able to hold. And it just kind of, it just kind of depends. Um, clear creeks, the clear water creeks, um, those fish will be roamy. That they won't necessarily be as tight to cover. Um, they'll be, especially on cloudy days, they'll, they'll swim up and down on them pretty good. Um, and then muddy water, they'll be close to cover and they will be, um, they won't be as roamy. And that's just what I've noticed over the years. And it really helps me out to, to kind of narrow down where I think the fish are going to be. I'm trying to get down here where I can see the creek a little better. Yeah. So like right here, you can see the little creek, creek a little better. Any little inlet like this, any feeder creek that dumps in, it's going to be deeper right here. It's going to be a little deep hole. And crappie love to get in deep holes um, in creeks. They just do. That's just that's just how they are. They, they love to get down in deep holes, especially if the water's a little clear and they don't feel quite as comfortable. They want to suck down into those holes, and they'll sit right on the bottom. And it's not at all uncommon for that. And like right here, this sharp bend, this right here would dig out really good. And, you know, honestly, guys, the, the bottom line is this right here, this tool, Google Earth, Google Maps, it's just a starting point, right? This is not going to, you're not going to go out here and know exactly where you need to go. But this is a lot better. It gives you an idea of before you get to the lake or before you get to the spot, you can kind of do a little homework. And I spend hours and hours and hours and hours on this looking for fish looking for access points looking for creeks looking to see if the creeks are going to be connected or not looking to see is it an easy walk or where is there a bend where is there even a big tree sometimes you can see a big tree laying in the water um and uh, i actually want to go over here and i'm thinking about it let's go over to lewisville real quick this is a prime example so this right here is 380 right here Elm Fork Trinity River, another one right here. You can see a car parked right here. You can park, walk down in here, and there's a bunch of creek, right? A bunch of creek, but look right here. Bunch of log jams, right? Logs everywhere. So this right here tells me these fish are going to have trouble getting up in here more than they would another creek, right? Because that's a pretty big log jam they'd have to get to, get through. And, um, it would not be not be easy we can go all the way out and you can see right here all the way out to the main mouth like it's connected for sure it would be pretty tough for a fish to get in there but I think they would be in there I mean it would be worth the shot for sure it's hard to tell how deep that is a crappie only needs you know 10 inches of water to get through they'll come in at night um, when that when it's dark and they feel safe and they'll come up in that creek trust me shad would do the same thing so but, you know, this way I know, like, okay, well, this up here might not be very productive. But I could go down here, maybe just below this um, log jam, maybe have a little better luck. So, I mean, it just, it's just a shortcut, you guys. So, next time you're uh, wanting to go check a creek out, see, like, right here, it's, that's bottom. That's dry bottom right there, so that's not good. Um, so, that's, yeah, see right here, too, it's really shallow and narrow, so... This might not be very productive up here. It looks pretty shallow. But just things like that. Um, so, you know, again, crappie go up in the creeks in the winter. They also go down by the main lake. But this is where I spend most of my time in the winters. And the creeks get out of the elements. Um, I feel like creek fish are, are not pressured as much in certain places, especially like I, how I fish. I go away from people. And I don't know. I just I enjoy it. I really do. I grew up fishing that way, and so I enjoy it. But... Let's get to fishing and let's get some put some fish in the boat. I don't know if those are crappy, but my goodness they look big.
Oh, finally. Little guy, but we got the skunk off at least. Finally. You'll catch a lot of white crappie too. If your lake has white crappie, they love to go up the creeks like this. I didn't think I spot locked. I just kind of dropped it down. There's a little ledge right here. I'm not sure how good. I want to sit like this and see how good you can pick up this, this live scope on here. There's another one. A little better fish. God, and they're swallowing it too. Look at that. Look at that. You think that fish didn't want that jig? We might keep. See if we get some good keepers, we'll we'll throw them in here and see how many we end up with. I think maybe we just found some active fish here. Ooh, might have been a bite. Oh, he had it. Dang it. Just kind of bit it funny. I'm just kind of sitting this out here. They're on this ledge right here. There's one good one that had just not got his attention yet. God, there's no way that's the only two that want to bite right here. There's one. Not too bad. A black crappie. That one might try and keep. I think he'll keep. Let's check him out real quick. I think we got something going finally. Nice. There's been a lot of black crappie in here this year. I'm surprised. Yep. Ten and a half. Awesome. I hope this uh this camera's picking up this live scope right here. I've had some requests to kind of try and engage some some video of live scope in these videos too and I'm definitely down to do that. If that'll help y'all enjoy these more for sure.